enters our newsroom. And today is day two of the Biggie, and the crowds continue to pack the fairgrounds. Western Mass News reporter Olivia Hickey joins us in the studio after spending some time at the fair. Olivia? Glenn, just like yesterday, people came hungry and ready for a good time. Saturday was the second day of Biggie season. Like Friday, thousands of folks crowded the fairgrounds for a good time, including season fairgoers. I came here from school actually, so I go to school in Boston, but my roommates wanted to come. Colin Ludke tells us his annual family trip is celebratory. It's been a family tradition ever since I was a kid, probably about three or four years old, come every single year for mom's birthday. Besides food and a trip down the giant slide, many we spoke with say they were looking forward to strolling down the avenue of states and seeing what each building has to offer the biggest variety of things you have your normal stands everywhere but you go to state houses you get a little bit of each state um, different foods different beers different you know uh, craft items you can buy so a lot of local vendors it's definitely a staple over 86,000 people attended this year's opening day so we asked people to predict Saturday's crowds probably over 100,000 I know last year numbers were astronomical so I think we're definitely over 100,000 despite high guesses we're told traffic issues were once again limited. I got off in Palmer today. Um, it had me reroute off Palmer instead of Ludlow, which I normally get off, so I think it had something to do with the traffic for the biggie, but getting here wasn't that bad, actually. I was in traffic for maybe like five minutes. Western Mass News will be at the fair tomorrow. Be sure to stop by our booth and say hello. We would love to see you. Reporting in studio, Olivia Hickey for Western Mass News.